Yo, what is up everybody? It's Nick here and welcome to episode 2 of our Red Dead Redemption Let's Play. Of course, if you guys missed the first episode, we had an almost 40 minute episode to kick things off. Of course, you can find the playlist linked down below in the description with the first episode. Go back, check it out, get a feel for what we're getting into, and then come back and continue our Red Dead playthrough. But with that said, um, in the previous episode, we did kind of... Kind of kind of go through tutorial stuff it basically just showed us what we can do uh with riding horses how we moved stuff like that um and we ended up here at i guess bonnie uh in her house and we are currently at if i can take a gander at this map we are currently at mcfarlane's ranch and uh we got taken here because bonnie paid 15 bucks to get our bullets removed because we got shot up at uh what was it um we went to Armadillo, and then we went to... Does it not show it anymore? And we went to, like... We went to... We went somewhere, but it doesn't show it on the map, I guess. I don't know. Either way, uh, we got... We went somewhere, got shot by Billy, and he's a gain, and now we're here. Uh, in the previous episode, we had to kill... Uh, I guess you can do this. Hold on. Um... So I read through all of these, and basically these are like side quests and different stuff like that that you can do. Um, but let's take a look at this. We have to get rid of the rabbits. And I suppose they're just around the area. Because I'm pretty sure I got all of them around here. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of casually walk through. Um, let's make sure I have my gun ready here. Um, I'm just kind of walk. I'm going to kind of walk around, I guess. Um, I don't know how many rabbits there are. I don't know how many we need to get rid of. It's a very, I don't know what exactly we have to do. I guess we just shoot a ton of rabbits, but I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to walk around because I'm pretty sure I got rid of all of them from the farm itself or that ranch. So, or, yeah, I should say the farm. This whole thing is a ranch. Let's just walk around, I guess. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I don't know where on earth we need to be. I don't know. And like I said in the previous episode as well, I'm very, very oblivious when it comes to things. I really, I don't know. I guess I just don't pay attention or I do my own thing. And I end up not realizing what we're supposed to do or where we're supposed to go. Um, and that's just the way I play video games, so I do apologize. But I don't know where all these rabbits are. Want your horse? My horse is all the way back there. Is that what I'm supposed to use? Mount my horse now? Is that like an objective now? I guess we got rid of the rabbits or something, so now it wants me to get on my horse. Hold on. Okay. I guess this game is just weird or oddly specific or something like that. I don't know. Oh, get out of the way. So I guess we're going to go all the way back here. Let's get on our horse. Hold on. That's no longer red. Wait, what did I... Okay. Either way, I don't know what I did. I guess I just had to walk around. I, I suppose Let's they wanted me to walk around. Okay, that was kind of weird. Um, so I kind of ended off the episode in like a weird place. Because we're in the middle of this whole, I guess, like Bonnie kind of mission quest thingy. Um, it's the so it's not even like people. It's literally rabbits. Um, but, slow down, Brunsley. Slow down. But, um, yeah, I kind of start off in a weird, weird spot. A coyote. So now we got exterminate coyotes. Bro. Nice. Okay. Wait, using did I drains or did I meet her? Okay. Oh my god. There's a ton of them. Are they still in the chickens? Oh, I can't even. 
I hate me with controller. I'm, I'm used to, uh, uh, I will say right now, I'm very cold shot. Don't steal our chickens. No. No. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. Um, okay. We gotta get off our horse. Hold on, Barnsley. Hey. Why am I sneaking, bro? Okay, you can stand up. I guess he just wants to sneak. I guess he wants to sneak. Yeah, like I said, I ended off the episode in kind of a weird... Like, in the middle of this kind of thing. I could have finished this, and I'm sure after this, um, it would have been a more appropriate time. But, uh, I don't want to drag on episodes too long. I definitely want them to be uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, is kind of what we're going to aim for. Hopefully throughout the duration of this LP. Knowing me... We're going to have just, some episodes that are just way, way longer than that, but it is what it is. So we got rid of all the coyotes and the rabbits. Okay. Alright then. I don't know what we had to do to trigger me getting out of my horse, but we had to do something. I guess they just wanted me to like look around or actually go and look for more rabbits. I don't know. Wait, did I... There we go. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marcy. I'll hitch now. Makes me kinda happy I saved your life. Well, I'm kinda happy you saved my life too. See you in the Good night, Mr. I'm kinda happy you saved my life too, to be honest. You can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game. Alright. Sweet. So this is our room. If you sleep, uh, you will wake up six hours later. So we only get a puff of eight, six hours of sleep. That's more than I can say. Pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Sweet. So current dead level. Dead eye level. Fame plus one. Ooh, famous boys. We got some honor. Maybe we can change outfits. So we're cowboy. So I'm guessing. Ooh. Like over time we might be able to, like, I don't know if we'll disguise ourselves or just get new um, outfits. But that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead. Uh, save our game real quick, go to sleep, wake up, hopefully it'll be a little brighter outside, it'll be nicer and whatnot. Um, select a save slot, well let's go with this one. Are you sure you want to save your current, yes. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I am really enjoying the this game so far, I know we're only like, not even like an hour into it, but I'm really, really enjoying the game so far. So, some people even deal, oh I didn't get to read all of it. Um, but I am, I am enjoying it so far. I am enjoying it so far. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited. But let's go ahead and hop out. Can we close our door? Thank you. You don't want anyone coming in uninvited. Um, but I do want to take the time. Like I also said in the previous episode, um, I like exploring stuff. I like... Never mind. Can't do it. Um... I guess you can't go in the houses if the door is closed. Um, but like I said in the previous episode, I do like exploring things. Oh, nope, the game does not want me to explore. So that is definitely going to be a big part of the game for me. Um, is exploring, going around, talking to people, things like that. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, that's the doctor. Did you take the bullets out of me? Bro? We don't need to jump all around him. Just talk to him. Um, so we can buy some medicine. Sneak oil, apple. Well, we ain't got no money, so... Uh, that's not gonna work. But did you take the bullets out of me? But yeah, exploring is definitely going to be a big part of the game for me. Um, especially if it's... It, it seems... It's very open world. So I'm... Definitely going to spend a lot of time exploring. We're probably, depending on, um, depending on if I need to, I might even just take an episode, like a couple episodes, and just look around new areas that we go to. You know, like just take the time to explore and look around and whatnot. Let me go in here. Okay, what's in here? I don't know what what this is, but scoot that chair. Fall down. Get this chair. Okay. Enough with the bullying of the chair. Let's go ahead and screw those barrels too. What's up here? 
Well, slow down, my dude. You're going way, 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 way too fast. Bro, we don't. Oh, I didn't mean. To... Wait, if you uh, you can rob them. Although tell the law, but I don't want to hurt. I didn't mean to. I honestly did not mean to. I honestly did not mean to. I <laughs> okay. Um, so they can tell on me. So we have title tellers. Okay. Well, hello. Who's a good boy? Who's the goodest of boys? Bro. Okay. Um, what else is over here? The foreman's office. What's in here? Anything? Pop right in here. Probably shouldn't be in here, but hey. Um, I do kind of want to go to, um, let's see, can it show me a more, how do you zoom? There we go. It, it doesn't really show you, like, an in-depth, like, where things are, because I wanted to go to that, um, I wanted to go back to the, oh, here it is right here. I wanted to go to the general store and take a look here and see what they have. I know we don't have any money, but I wonder if we could, like, oh, oh we can't even go in there? Oh, there's somebody. Let me in. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. I'm trying to buy. Okay. Well, they clearly do not. Ooh. They. C oh, that's how you. I was going to say we, we sneak in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, they clearly do not want my service. But let's go ahead and. Um, is this. Hold on, let's climb over this fence. Yeah, this is where Bonnie wants to meet us. So let's meet up with Bonnie. Obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Okay. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, Come in, come in. I feel like we healed up really you fast know, for getting get shot right there in our stomach, but what you wanted from it. Whatever. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. Mm. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes city to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, we are not a city man. Thank you very much. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We're we'll gonna see. race her? Huh? Alright, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Alright, Barnsley. We're gonna have a wild race. Or <laughs> a wild race. Right in front of us here. Go to the race start. Okay, I'll beat you there before we even get to the race. I'll beat you to the race start. Oh. Oh, Barnsley. Barnsley. Barnsley's too fast. Barnsley's too fast for this. Please turn me around. On the count of three. On the count of three. So where are we going here? Oh my goodness. Wait, you don't so... know me at all, Miss McFarland. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so we just gotta follow these. Okay, we got this. Look at that male pride wait, get, wait, what happened? Wait, what actually happened? Let's go. Why did that happen to us? Somebody got cheated. Oh, come on, Barnsley. 
Wait, why? I guess. Okay. I guess when the was that another uh thingy? I guess when your stamina. Okay, so how do we win this time? I guess when you're okay, we're gonna have to redo this. I guess when the stamina of your horse goes low, um, I guess he throws you off. I don't know why that's what happens. I don't know why that's what the horse wants to do. But knowing that now, we're definitely gonna have to redo this race. Um. Barnsley, come on, my dude. Ugh, I hate... Oh, come on, Barnsley. He won't go. He won't... He will not move. Okay, can I restart this? Can... Can I please restart this? This is a lost cause. Barnsley, I don't know why... He... Oh, my goodness. Now we have to play character. Barnsley, great. Why did you have to throw me off? Why did you have to throw me off? Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Stop wasting time and get on with it, please. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. If you don't mind, can we please return to the road? I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I guess I'm kind of new to it. 
You're telling me. So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. You go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. 